What is an odd behavior of yours you think only you do? I hold my breath when someone walks by in a confined space because I don't want to breath their essence in. I'd. I rub my feet together in a circular motion when I'm in bed and getting ready to sleep. My boyfriend calls it cricketing. I've got this weird habit when I return home. I walk into my room, right past the spot I put my wallet and keys, then go to the bathroom with the door closed. When I come back out, I put my wallet, keys where they go. Why do I bring them in with me? Dot 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 just in case the bathroom gets sent back in time. It would be useful to have some of that stuff. No, I don't expect this will ever be a necessary precaution dot 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 but since I waste no time doing it. My dog and I have arguments when he barks. He will hear someone in our hallway outside and start barking every time. I tell him SHHHH, and he barks again slightly less loudly this time. This continues until I can barely hear him but he has to get the last word in. Drives me up the wall. My hands being wet makes me angry. I'm not a confrontational, aggressive person but if my hands were wet and someone came at me I'd be probably 4x more likely to be aggressive back at them. I talk to my food like him torturing it, while I cook it. Yes I live alone. Crappy German accent, while making omelette. VRZ mushrooms dot 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 not speaking. Perhaps I shall dot 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 increase the heat. Edit, holy crap, this is my highest upvoted thing ever, and first gold. I'm super glad you all enjoy this, I'll give a YouTube video a shot, if I can figure out how to edit. When a page is taking a long time to load on my laptop I rotate my index finger clockwise and it makes me feel like it makes the page load faster. I have a habit that somewhat resembles what autistic people do when they're overstimulated. When I'm alone at home and something positive happens, get some good news, get invited somewhere fun etc, I slap my head, almost like I'm playing the bongos. It happens a lot and actually feels really good. Like I'm getting a serotonin rush. In grade 4, I met one other person who did it. She called it the woogies which I still think is amazing. I have noticed I often sniff when I enter a room so I don't scare people by just talking out of nowhere. I get weird compulsions that I need to touch between my pinky fingers or touch my armpit. It's more like a tickling sensation that builds until I have to relieve it by touching it. I have no idea what causes this and I haven't heard of anyone else that has to do this. Maybe some form of mild OCD? Edit. Frequency of the sensation is constant. Every few seconds, though I feel the intensity of the feeling comes in waves. Every time I bend over to pick something up I pretend I just unknowingly dodged a bullet from some faraway sniper trying to take me out. When I wake up for work, sometimes I have the good chills about certain things. Like the A. C console in my car might look like a cockpit and it sends good chills down my spine. It's like the time before I have to be at work is a cozy little mini time. There is no way in hell I can explain this in words. I have always called it the morning weird. Man I hope there is someone else out there that knows what I'm talking about. In the shower, I slowly rotate to keep myself evenly warm. I do it unconsciously now like a rotisserie chicken. Sometimes I wonder if there's actually people who can see into your mind, so I start thinking about really interesting things so if there is, they won't think I'm boring. Sometimes when I'm listening to music I play a game where I tap my fingers to the syllables, if the sentence ends at the pinky or the thumb I win, if not I must continue until it ends up at one of them. If there are tiles on the floor or some other weird design, squares, lines, paintings etc, I always try to walk in some weird mathematically even pattern. It's very difficult to explain but in my mind it makes a lot of sense. I make sure to make a splash noise when I pee to make sure I'm not sleeping and pissing the bed. Whenever someone coughs I have the urge to cough as well. It kinda weird but I like to rub my feet against each other under the covers. It calms me down and helps me fall asleep. 
When I'm at home I eat the curly bits of the popcorn first and save the soft parts for the end. I don't know where this came from, but I can't seem to stop. I say things to myself to break a train on thought. Like I love you or I'm sorry or you got this just to keep myself going on the right path. Probably be weird if someone walked in on me trying to motivate myself out loud. Can say in all honesty. I adopted the Monk Touch, Monk the old TV series about the unique detective, whereby I'll touch every pole or stop sign I pass even if just for a second. Don't know when it started but it's become almost subconscious autonomy at this point over many years and odd looks. As to why. I have no idea. Something about touching something physical that's permanent and serving a purpose I guess. Well guess I'm not so odd after all. D hello fellow tappers. HTTPS colon slash slash www.youtube.com slash watch. V equals L underscore I is leave key, the monk intro for nostalgia sake. Using random number generator apps to dictate how I set my daily to-do lists. Shake my butt when I'm lying in bed. Talking to myself in gibberish when I'm doing something as though I were explaining what I'm doing. I tap my top and bottom teeth side to side to make rooms, but both sides have to be evenly tapped. And, when I think of or here, a particular word, I'll rearrange the letters so they go consonant, vowel, consonant, vowel, etc. and add letters in when they don't fit the pattern. Double letters get scratched. So say the word pattern, it becomes barren, because it's following the rule, and removing doubles. Sometimes I'll stretch it out to incorporate every vowel in way. So in that case, pattern would become perniciously. No reason why. But I do it constantly, and haven't been able to switch if off for 15 years or more. It took me a very long time to realize what I was doing, and even longer to be able to put it into words. When at the library or bookstore, I sometime open a book I know I will read at some point, but not right now and read a random line at a random page. Then... Maybe years later I will read the book and when I get to that line that I have forgotten all about and get the most powerful feeling of deja vu. I will remember what the world felt like, smelled like, the sensations and feelings I had while reading that a line. It's like like little gifts of memories to future me floating around in various books. I wiggle my right foot really fast when I'm falling asleep. E. Never be lonely anymore. I have found my sisters and brothers. I rub the tip of my nose and after a while it starts to feel really nice and I get a mild sensation not unlike an orgasm. Sometimes when I get bored, I explain modern things to Benjamin Franklin. Music I listen to, or how my phone works, etc. Sometimes I go even further back and explain it to Socrates or a caveman. Sometimes it's philosophical, sometimes it's just stupid. I don't know why I do it, but it's very entertaining. Edit. Well, till this isn't that strange, a lot of people do it, and many of them specifically choose Benjamin Franklin as their time traveler of choice. My alarm is set to 7 a.m., I can't remember when I last heard it go off, because I wake up at around 6.15, and spend some time on my phone before unsetting my alarm and getting in the shower before 7 a.m. Sometimes I spell a word in my head over and over until it seems like nonsense. Each day when I come home from work, I say to my cat Bruce Wayne, Hi, honey. I'm home. Did you do your taxes? Oh, you did your taxes. In my head if my cat were a person he'd be a tax accountant or something. When I'm watching a movie or TV series and something bad happens to a character I really like I can't handle him being sad or distraught. So I stop watching it. It's a real problem I have to force myself to continue. Because if I wouldn't I wouldn't watch anything until the end. It's been like this since I was a kid. I blow on my ice cream. 2. Cool it off. I'm not really sure. I wasn't even aware I was doing something weird until my GF noticed and said, you know that's not hot right? 
I make weird noises and gestures when I think no one else is home. I give objects such as aka I scratch it for them because they look itchy. I walk fast. When it's a crowded place, I use hand gestures whenever another person gets in my way to tell them where I will go, like I point to the left and they automatically move to the right without any awkwardness. It works more often than I expected. People tend to follow such unexpected gestures unconsciously. I hear noises in multiples of eight. Not that I hear any sound eight times, but if there's a noise that repeats a bunch of times, I hear it in my head again and count it, using eights. I make a valley out of pillows and blankets and sleep in the middle so I can koala hug something while laying on either side. Edit, thank you all for the awards and attention. I absolutely love the wholesome conversations about pets and pillows that unfolds below. Habit that I've had since childhood, I play with my ears, especially when they're cold, I fold them and scrunch them and can fit them into the ear canal until they unfold and pop back into form. Edit, ear ye. Ear ye. Obligatory exaltations of gratitude and thanksgiving to the kindness of the anonymous fellow ears absent-mindedly scrunched and stuffed into the canal stuffers slash redditors for the heretofore elusive golden and silvery goodness. Shout out to all of my brother and sister weirdos and the earfolder subreddit created for us oral aberrations of the humankind. I had no idea I was not alone. Cheers. I'll occasionally reread sections of a book where nothing much happens but the characters are just chilling. It's almost like visiting friends. I tap every time a dashed line goes past the car. It's like a perpetual game of Guitar Hero. I throw up gang signs at my dog. Don't know why it started but I get a laugh out of it and my dog just likes the attention. Edit, while this blew up, my dog says what's in blood. In my head I make a plan to rob any business I enter. I make note of security, cameras, employees. I think about what part of town I'm in and try to estimate what the police response time would be and possible escape routes and so on. I'd never do it of course. It's just a mental exercise. I made the mistake of telling my wife about it and now when we go out she notices and tracks my eyes and says stop that. You're so weird. Lol. Edit. Thank you for my first, and second, ever silver. I couldn't possibly reply to everyone so I'll just answer a few of the questions I've seen here. I'm not in security or anything security related. I'm in landscaping, lawn care and snow removal but mostly in the setting of the shop and the office. I don't go out on jobs anymore. My childhood was fine, maybe a bit on on the rough side. I had a group of friends that we were essentially a gang for self-protection but we didn't get into anything more serious than selling a little grass and a few fist fights. And no, as far as I know I am not an amnesia-stricken super assassin. Lol. If I accidentally hit my head or something when I was little I'd pretend to be knocked out for at least 10 minutes on the floor and then slowly get up when I'd realize nobody was going to indulge my dramatic ass. After I stopped chewing on my nails I needed a new thing for when I'm nervous, preferably something discreet. So I started pressing my nails into the side of my knuckles and then kind of pressing the hurting spot. Somehow this pain feels extremely relaxing for me, also it helps me think when I can't concentrate. I have to blink an even number of times and most the time that's not enough. I have to stop what I'm doing to keep on blinking until my mind is pleased with the right amount of even times I've blinked. Constantly, realistically I do this hourly, relive specific moments from my past. I can imagine a conversation that I had 8 years ago and react physically in the present by saying the words I would have said then or move my body in the same way as I do in the memory. When doing something I don't do often or for the first time I tend to explain it as if I'm making a guide for others, I find it a nice way to catch a mistake before it happens. Just before I'm about to write, sometimes I'll do this little circle thing in the air above the paper, like I'm revving the pen up before I use it, edit, this is by far the most replies I've ever gotten on a single comment. Safe to say I'm not the only one lol, also shout out to you. 
devious Mr. Blonde for telling me the name of this little practice, in so, https colon slash slash n dot m dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash in so. I spin in circles and think about things, but like, as an activity. I've spent an hour plus just spinning and thinking about things that don't matter on multiple occasions. You will never find on my alarm clock time like 6.40 or 7.15. It will always be something like 6.38 or 7.14. I don't know why. In elementary school, they explained to us what right angles were and asked us to find some around the room. Fast FWD to 23 years later, I still do that all the time, I look for parallel lines and right angles and the axis of different shapes and when I'm sitting somewhere, I look for ways to tilt or turn my head so that things seem symmetrical and form right angles from my point of view. Sometimes I take a whole gin take of breath. As if I've been stuck underwater for longer than I'm comfortable and can finally breathe again. It scares the crap out of my friends as I'm usually quiet for several minutes and then suddenly I'm practically screaming. I just tell people that I forgot to breathe. I rarely realize I've done it too, it just happens. I also randomly do one hiccup. Sometimes mid-sentence and I'll continue my statement without letting the hiccup distract me. When I'm extra sleepy and laying in bed, I'll just raise one of my arms completely straight up and let my hand go limp. I'll hold this position for a while and I usually go to sleep soon after ha ha ha. When reading a book I sometimes stop paying attention but I keep reading. My eyes continue reading without me realizing what's going on. Sometimes I have to reread entire chapters because I forgot to pay attention. I have conversations with myself out loud. And I stare intently at one spot when I'm thinking. I also talk with inanimate objects. And I catch myself cocking my head to the side like a dog when I'm confused. Of note. They don't talk back to me. I just have one-sided conversations with the objects. Kind of like how Archer talks to Krieger and Krager's first few appearances before they found a voice actor for him.